Alright, so it's Halloween right now. So basically, there's a story today that's like ultra spooky. And yeah, let's get right into it, boys. Alright, so recently, like this week, there's been a surge in people like getting like scary masks, like Halloween masks, like clowns and shit. And the people like who have clown masks are just going around like terrorizing everyone. They've been like chasing people with like knives, but not, I don't actually think they're gonna do anything. I'm not too sure, really, but I don't think they are. And another thing, right, is about them people with masks. It was before Halloween week that they was doing it. Like it started like two weeks ago, but it's just like gradually picked more up and more and more people are doing it. And honestly, it's weird because when they start chasing you, you're like, oh, like you have to run, just because like yeah, you just have to run because you don't like in case it's actually someone. Who will do something. Alright, and like furthermore, in addition to that, like I believe that no one will do anything, but literally right I was just like sat here like ten minutes ago playing TS just surfing and I like it's really dark outside, it, it gets dark now at like four o'clock, like four PM and I was just like sat outside and I saw like I I just looked out the window for a little bit because I was waiting for like the map to change and shit because like in the little intermission thing where it downloads and that and basically like I saw a group of people in my alley like I live next to an alleyway so like people can get the bikes, motorbikes and shit in and I saw like a little at the end I saw like I don't know how to explain it, it was like not a flashlight but um it was like light of some sort, some sort. It, I think it was like either a flashlight or just a flashlight on someone's phone or maybe it was a flashlight I don't really know and like I just I was looking at them for like three or four minutes and it looked like, like they was all just speaking or something and then I started to walk back and like I shut my curtains because I don't want that shit because I like sit next to my window in my chair like my desk chair thing and like honestly I, I know they saw me close the curtains and then like I peeked out and like well I didn't peep out at first my like on my curtains there was like a little I could see like a little glimmer of light like coming through them and like they were shining the light at my thing at my curtains and like just all, all like four or five of them looking at me and i was just like oh my god jesus and they all looked like they were about 20 years old and i was literally the only one in my house because my mum and dad had gone out shopping and my brother had gone to work and oh my god and my other brother is at his girlfriend's house get laid bro and like this story doesn't seem like any like it, it's a little bit scary like a little bit scary kind of yeah um but it's not really like too scary in my opinion so basically it, it was just like oh yeah wow that's it it's not really anything bad and basically like five minutes ago or something i i was just like on like playing csgo and i hear my phone like go cling like a little notification it does when i get a message on like facebook or twitter or whatever and basically there was an inbox of this like person on Facebook and there was called like <laughs> clowny I'm just gonna like look for him now yeah and I was just on Facebook and I unlocked my phone and I saw a message from someone called Ronald Clown with an E on the end of clown and honestly it was like I was just like oh what the hell is this all about and then I got a message saying we see you and I was just literally like my heart jumped out my chest that was the weirdest thing I've like uh, I've had ever happen to me, and Jesus Christ, I don't know, like what I would have done if they like broke into my house and started like beating me up or some shit like that. Yeah, I got a message and you know, it was just like, um, we see you, and it was from Ronald Clown, and just to like prove that I'm not lying, um, I'll just literally like right now show it on my phone of the account. Um, look, look at that shit. Look at that fucking face and that name Ronald Clown. Um yeah so that just proves to everyone that I'm not lying and I'm not I didn't even reply to the message, I just I just like read it because I knew it was just I don't know, it was weird like first seeing it but then I like realised oh it was obviously like someone one of them and they would just like try and scare me or something like I knew obviously nothing's gonna happen. And if it did I'd just like ring the police or something. Or I'll just get my karambit fade. As soon as I like saw that message as well, I, I just ran like downstairs and looked out my front window and um, went to see if like there was just like in my front garden just waiting for me to like come out or something. And no one was there, sure enough, and uh, nothing happened. And yeah, 
Alright, so yeah, this is going to be like the end of the Halloween stories and shit, like the scary ones, I think, because I can't really remember much. Alright, so yeah, regardless of all these like stories and shit I've been making, um, I hope you enjoy Halloween and and do whatever you want, and there's literally like, all there seems to be recently is just fireworks going on outside, I couldn't even think right then. Alright, so yeah, um, hopefully like you will enjoy this video and it serves you well and also enjoy Halloween, don't do any stupid shit that I did like go into like haunted woods and get drunk and like nearly get kidnapped um, yeah so that about says that and as always